It's hard to believe it's been 12 years. Is there a longer walk than the one to your child's grave? It's been a long road. For Sharon Davis and her niece, Denise McGuire, every visit to the cemetery is a reminder of a remarkable life stolen by a drunk driver. Here lies Sharon's son, Jeff Davis, 23 years old. Seems like forever and seems like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Jeff lived much of his life in a wheelchair, but he still played on a soccer team and in a marching band. Happy kid, love life. Going to open a music store, that's what he was going to school for. Going to teach trumpet. But Jeff's dreams died when a repeat drunk driver crashed into his vehicle. For the next two months, Jeff fought for his life. He died two weeks after Christmas. The wheelchair was a big pain because it's like his legs. Um, so my brother took it home and he still has it. Sharon Davis believes there's a simple thing that Missouri can do that will prevent more senseless drunk driving deaths. And there's a lot of support for it. Lawmakers. I think it's great. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. They're obviously working. Even a defense attorney. It's what my clients want. All agree that it will work if tried in Missouri. 15 states, including Illinois, require first-time convicted drunk drivers to use an interlock ignition device to start their car. To start a vehicle, the driver must blow into the device. If he's intoxicated, the vehicle won't start. How effective are they? They're extremely effective. MAD says studies show the interlock devices reduce repeat offenses by an average of 67%. Some states credit the interlocks for huge reductions in alcohol-related crashes and deaths. Public opinion polls show more than four out of five people surveyed support the idea. Why not save lives for a crime that is 100% preventable? Defense attorney Randall England says his first time convicted drunk driver clients would prefer to use the interlock instead of losing their license. If the interlock would make it safe for them to drive, then we should let them. Missouri State Representative Charlie Dennison, the chair of the House Transportation Committee, says he'll introduce a bill requiring interlock devices for first-time DWI offenders. We do need to redo our DUI uh, bills. It's unclear if lawmakers have the support to pass a first-time offender bill, but they'll be encouraged to do it by a grieving mother who wonders how many lives could be saved if the ignition interlocks are required for every convicted driver. You have to do something to make it stop. Right now, Missouri requires interlocks for drunk drivers convicted of a second offense. Supporters say interlocks are also a good deal for taxpayers. Offenders pay for them. And a study in New Mexico found that every dollar invested in interlocks saves the public $3. Craig Cheatham, News 4.